Over the past six months, Ukrainian HIMARS batteries have struck Russians, gathered at training grounds for exercises or inspections at least five times, killing scores of Russian troops. The latest strike took place this week at an opening training ground in the Donetsk region, 15 miles from the front lines, Forbes analyst David Axe writes. He notes that video taken after the attack shows at least a dozen dead Russian troops and wrecked vehicles, suggesting that the Ukrainian missiles likely GPS-guided M30-31s fell while the Russians were training. At the same time, the analyst emphasizes this is not the first case in this area. There is a 100-square-mile area in the Donetsk region where there is a large concentration of Russian troops and a lot of lazy Russian commanders. Since February, Ukrainian HIMARS missiles have struck Russian training sites in the area at least three times, killing about 100 people, he writes. Two more Ukrainian missile strikes during the same period in southern and northeastern Ukraine added at least 150 more people to the death toll. As the analyst explains, the Ukrainian armed forces are tracking Russian military concentrations using UAVs, and the entire occupied territory of Ukraine is within the range of the M30-31 missiles for HIMARS or M39 missiles for Ukrainian M270 launchers. As Stacy Pettyjohn of the Center for a New American Security in Washington writes, the constant presence of drones on the battlefield makes it difficult to concentrate forces, while guided missiles make such concentration potentially lethal for troops. The risk cuts both ways, of course, and Russian rockets have occasionally struck Ukrainian trainees, too. But Russia has lost a lot more troops than Ukraine has. As many as 728,000 Russian soldiers have been killed, wounded or captured in Ukraine, The Economist reported in July, citing leaked Pentagon documents. Even taking into account Russia's greater population, 144 million Russians versus 38 million Ukrainians, extreme losses are having a disproportionately corrosive effect on the Russian armed forces, however. The Kremlin is mobilizing 30,000 fresh troops a month just to replace battlefield casualties and speeding these new recruits through training in order to get them to the front faster. Discipline and competence are slipping. The Russian armed forces in Ukraine have extremely limited capabilities for conducting maneuver warfare due to both the loss of mobility assets and the lack of training among headquarters and troops, the Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies explained. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that over a hundred battles have taken place since Monday morning with the most intense fighting in the Kurakov and Pokrovsk directions. Zelensky also spoke about an in-depth report from our intelligence services on the situation in the ranks of the occupying army, the situation on Russian territory, adding that the perception of the war in Russia is deteriorating, as is the public's view of the results of Putin's policies. We are working to ensure that reality ultimately overcomes Russian state propaganda, he said in his nightly address. Over the weekend Ukraine made a new call on the West to allow it to strike deeper into Russia after a meeting between US and British leaders a day earlier produced no visible shift in their policy on the use of long-range weapons. Ukraine. Все ж таки подолала російську державну пропаганду.